da an? Habe ich dann mehr Erfahrung, wenn ich einen nach dem anderen gucke? Alter, was hat mich da getroffen? Oh, ich bin vergiftet. 1.3 Rangbonus. Oh. Ey, dass sowas halt immer sofort irgendwas. Sehr schön, heute weg. Das ist ja wirklich die Erfahrung. Das ist mir nie aufgefallen, da rechts, ey, weil du halt gleich wieder auf den nächsten Gegner starrst. Na, ah, fuck. Du hast jetzt doch nicht wegen eins und Ding der Arte ein. Naja, es ist auch zu spät. Echt eins? So also kann ich das immer weiter erhöhen? Naja, gut, er greift mich hier so an. Oh, ich war noch im Minus. Ich frage mich, warum er eigentlich so viel abzieht. Ich meine, jetzt sieht halt. Gut, die anderen hauen dafür öfter drauf. 1.5, ne? Okay, das sollte ich mir merken. Umso mehr du killst, umso. Mir ist dieser rechte Bonus nie aufgefallen. Das ist echt schlimm, dass wir. Das sind halt echt so kleine Kleinigkeiten, die einem nicht auffallen. Vielleicht kann man das treiben, doppelte Erfahrung, dreifach. Hier scheint aber auch keine Bosheit zu sein, ne? Was ich ja wieder eins kritisieren muss. Und das ist halt leider viel zu oft in Spielen, die wo weniger Budget haben. Warum hören sich die Kinder so scheiße an? Es ist halt immer grundsätzlich so, dass die Kinder sich einfach nur schlecht anhören. So gut wie immer. Vorher einkaufen. Versicherle. Oh. Kampf mehr Gegner an, noch bis du dich in ein Gasthaus ausrüstet oder aus dem Kampf fließt. Hä? Hey. Die Norflasche, die Norflasche. Holy shit. Wirklich, jetzt finde ich eine neue Waffe? Gab's die vorher schon? Und wenn dann kaufe ich beide. Dann kann ich eine gleich ausrüsten. Du wirst mich doch verarschen, dass ich jetzt eine finde. Gegen Ab 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 Gegner, Alter, leck mich. Wow. Das ist halt... Das 
brauche ich dafür? Amphi Amphibol. Warte mal, Silberklumpen, ist das nicht für ihren... Wollen wir mal aufwerten? Mana-Lanze, ja endlich, Silberklumpen, einer. Das heißt, ich kann aber hier noch... Dämonenhackebeil. Gegen amorphe Gegner. Ja, ist mir jetzt egal. Sein für sieben bräuchte ich noch, noch ein Fragment. Warte mal, warte mal. Da! Uh. Ich weiß, es ist wahrscheinlich stärker und ich habe es jetzt gerade weggehauen, aber ich will den Rokoro stärker machen. Okay. Wir müssen die Ausrüstung eigentlich auch noch leveln, aber scheiß drauf. Shit happens. Ich, ich frage mich jetzt gerade halt, ob die ganze Insel jetzt zugrunde geht wegen uns. Vor allem die Frage ist, ist das dann jetzt wegen der Kleinen oder wäre das so oder so passiert? Scary demons are running through the village. It's too dangerous there now. But I want to see my mom. Your mom would be sad if you got hurt by a demon. Come with us and we'll keep you safe until she comes back. Okay, I'll go with you. I wouldn't want mom to be sad. Ah, this is schon hard. Vor allem, sie weiß halt nicht mal, dass sie ihre eigene Mutter gefressen hat, ne? Was die ganze Sache einfach noch übler macht. All right. You're going to tell me about the demon blight and malevolence. Are you seriously thinking of breaking the Moloch taboo? That depends. Moloch taboo? This is about more than just the demons. You could say it's the truth behind how this world really works. The knowledge can be devastating to humans, throwing into question everything they think they know. And so the Malachim agreed to withhold it from humans. For their own protection. Do you still want to know? It's not like I'm a human anymore. I can't keep lying to myself. I can't go on unless I know the truth. You asked for it. First of all, this thing, this illness you call demon blight does not exist. Any human carries the potential of becoming a demon. All it takes is for the malevolence lurking in their heart to overflow. And what exactly is this malevolence? Impure emotions beyond what reason can suppress. Think of it as the sin buried in men's souls. So you knew. I'm a witch. So malevolence is the darkness in all our hearts. Make any sense to you guys? Any at all? When you put it like that, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> by nature, humans are incited by negative energy. It is easy to turn them towards impurity, creating malevolence. In fact, most people are constantly generating malevolence. It might even be possible that demons are people's true selves, and what little reason they possess is all that keeps them in human form. If the masses realized this, the realm would be thrown into utter chaos, 
That's why the Abbey propagates the lie of demon blight. So I presume. That can't be true! You know yourselves there weren't any demons before the opening! It used to be that humans couldn't see demons, or Malachim. Not unless they possessed a unique spiritual talent we call resonance. All your average human would see was someone turning extremely violent. Unable to explain what was happening, they'd just call those people possessed or feral. Then what made people see them all of a sudden? I don't know. My guess would be that something triggered greater resonance among all of humanity. And then, on the day of the advent, all humans gained the ability to perceive Malachim. And in the following days, the exorcist numbers swelled. This has to be Artorius's doing. But if there's no sickness, why would an entire village turn into demons at the same time? Eight-headed is the lord of the land, with seven mouths to devour malevolence. Humans produce malevolence, which Therians consume and transmit to a Nominot. But when we removed Kamawana from the Earth Pulse point... Clever boy! That's right. With no Therian to absorb their malevolence, the villagers could no longer contain it. So you're saying it's all my fault? Uh. <sighs> hey, what's going on? You all look so sad. It's scaring me. On the other hand, at least now we know we can trust the contents of that ancient book. We tear the Therians away from their Earth Pulse points. Inominat's power will wane, and will prevent this awakening. But if we take away the Therians, then more and more humans will turn into demons. It's the only way to kill Artorius. Ooh, the knives come out! So even the truth won't stop you. Very well. Since each Therian looks different, we'll only find them by capturing the Earth Pulse points one by one. What separates humans and demons? Um... Uh... That's Eleanor. Ch cheer up, Eleanor. Your mommy's looking over you too, you know. Uh, yeah, so she is. Thank you, Kamoana. Grimoire. I want you to tell me more about what you said earlier. About malevolence? I told you, the subject is taboo. I understand that human emotions create a poison called malevolence that turns people into demons. Is there no way to stop malevolence from being created? As long as humans remain human, no. Malevolence is born of emotion, you see. But your kind must have found a way around it. Malachim experience emotions too. But Malachim do not produce malevolence, unlike humans. That's a lie. I've watched a Malach turn into a demon. That only happens when we are exposed to too much external malevolence. <laughs> True. The island was full of prisoners and demons. And Melchior hit that Malach with something that turned it into a wyvern. Was it malevolence? To Malachim, malevolence is a powerful toxin. We seek those of purity to serve as vessels to protect us from it. It is not a perfect solution, however. If the vessel is corrupted, the Moloch is as well. That is correct. So if Eleanor turns into a demon, then Lafayette... That must be what Aizen meant when he said he'd hate to see Lafayette's vessel broken. A small crack in one's soul is often all it takes to break a person apart. 
So try not to pick on our squeaky clean exorcists too much, hmm? Thanks for the warning. Boah, das ist schon hart, ey. Ja, aber... Es ist doch trotzdem durch irgendwas dann hat auch angefangen, dann mehr, mehr Dämonen aufzutauchen, oder? So I rescued this poacher who'd run away from one of those class 4 islands, right? She mentioned something about being hired by some chef to go hunt a rare wolf on the island. But she didn't see a single blasted critter on that island, let alone any rare wolf. Place was empty. Then why did she run away? Even though she never saw nothing, she kept hearing some beast howling round the island. Freaked her right out, I tell ya. When she got back to her boat, her food had been pilfered and her ship was scratched up to hell. She got out of there as quick as she could. But her ship sunk soon as she hit open water. Hmm. Sounds like whatever's there is as smart and manipulative as it is vicious. Sounds like. Later I heard some talk about how several exorcists had gotten killed on that island. If you plan on going, you'd best be very cautious. Okay, neue Verwaltungszone. Hm, wie viele Punkte habe ich eigentlich? 800. Hm. Ja, kann es dann sein, dass ich durch, durch das erste Opfer der Dämonenpest... Ja, genau. Dann war das ein Zwei-Stufen-Plan. Artorius hat erst die Schwester von ihr geopfert. Damit alle die Dämonen sehen können. Nur um dann danach in Lafisa zu opfern, damit alle auch die Malak sehen können. What the hell? Sir, we just received a Sylph J from the boss of the Bloodwings. She has a job for us and wants us to meet her in Logress. How should we respond? Let's do it. Besides, we need to see if that demon in the villa was actually a Therian. Good point. And the Bloodwings might know something about the other Therians, too. We're heading for Logris. Prepare to set sail. Ready any time. Warte mal, aber ist es geil, den Serion in der Hauptstadt zu kill? Zone Klasse 4 Bestienviertel. Abweichlerviertel. I lost my mother to a demon. Yet that girl's a Therian. I... I don't even know what I want anymore. Hey, that's pretty! You like to look at that thing, don't you? Yes. My mother... Someone very important to me gave me this. I treasure it a lot. Looking at it gives me strength. Do you want to see it? Yeah! Ah! What's wrong? My face! It's... it's scary! Ah! I don't want to look like that! I don't want my mommy to hate me! Mommy! <laughs> Mommy! When I was her age, that's just how I cried. Come, Alana. I want you to see this. That huge owie. What happened? It's big and ugly, isn't it? There are scary things about my body, too. But... Do you think I'm scary, Kamoana? No, not at all. But are you all right? Does that hurt? Thanks, sweetie. I'm all right, I promise. What about me? Do you think I'm scary? You're such a sweetheart, Kamoana. Nobody could ever be scared of you. 
Not me. Not your mother. Not Lapiset. You don't have to cry anymore. It'll be okay. I promise. <sighs> okay. That scar. Was it from a demon? Yeah. They attacked my village when I was a girl. I was so hurt, I couldn't move. But my mother lured them away from me so I could survive. What happened to her? <sighs> the last thing she said to me was, Stay strong and keep living. Oh. Come to the deck. Grimoire says she's learned something from the book. Hey, why is your face so red? It's nothing. Somehow, I doubt that. It's nothing, I, I swear. <laughs> ja, zieh dich einfach mal von ein paar Kindern aus. Do you all remember the second verse of that song Lafisset read earlier? Four Empyreans may tear him asunder, but so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therian shall be forever reborn in sight of the full crimson moon. Right. That's what I've gathered you all here to discuss. And we think that passage means that Inomi Notch and the Therians will be revived by a chosen one, right? Yes, but the shall be forever reborn part kept bothering me. I've reconsidered my analysis. Suppose that instead of someone being chosen by Inomi Not to create Therians, the song means that Inomi Not chooses who becomes Therians. <sighs> But so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therians shall be forever reborn. What do you think that could mean? That someone receptive to Inominat's power will be reborn as a Therian. Like Kamoana! Which is to say that the Abbey figured out how to turn people into Therians, and then got right to work. That's... Are you really that surprised? Artorius has always been one to prioritize the many over the individual. As I well know. Another thing to consider is this wording about Therians being forever reborn. This could mean that one Therian will be reborn again and again. Or it could mean that different Therians will be born to take their place. Meaning that even if you kill one, there are more waiting in line. They can't be wiped out. Looks like prioritizing the one over the many was the right call this time, eh, Velvet? I never said I wouldn't kill her, if it would prevent Inominat's reawakening. But Therians can't be killed. Not truly. Hmm. So, in a nutshell, if you kill one, another person who's receptive to Inominat's power will be reborn as one. Right. But the song says that seven mouths feed the body. So there's only so many around. If you don't kill them, the next ones won't be born. Exactly. So we remove the seven Therians from their Earth Pulse points instead. But then, we also have to protect them so the Abbey doesn't steal them back. Or kill them. Sounds tricky. We've gotta protect my bug, too. Yeah. You take real good care of that thing now, got it? You bet I will! In that case, we should probably work on securing a proper hideout for ourselves. You got a secret base or anything, Aizen? It's every man's fantasy, but sadly, I don't. We need a hard-to-find spot. One where we can guarantee a steady supply of malevolence for the Therians. Hmm, somewhere devoid of people, but full of malevolence. Real poser you got there. With the Abbey in control of the entire continent, finding a place like that will be easier said than done. Meanwhile, Inominat's reawakening draws ever closer. We'll have to keep collecting our Therians while we search for a hideout. For now, let's just get to Logris. Hmm. Hey, old man! Give me all the water and food you got! Wait your turn, moron! I was drifting out at sea for three days! Almost died out there! We're here, poor you. You probably deserved it. Say that again, wise ass. I dare you. Ah, uh, shut up, both of you. No one's getting anything until you pay me what you owe first. 
Uh, are they gonna be okay? Don't pay them any mind. Sailors are just a short-tempered bunch, that's all. Huh? The hell are you doing? What's going on? They've jacked up the price to dock our ship here. Oh yeah? Some real balls you've got there, buddy. If you lot want to more here, that's the price you're gonna pay. Look, pirates are a liability to begin with, but calling your crew infamous these days would be putting it lightly. The more wanted you are, the more it's gonna cost to hide you. Capiche? <sighs> Hard to argue there. Benwick, just pay the man what he wants. <sighs> yes, sir. You're such pushovers. You and the captain both. I knew I could count on you to come through, Eisen. Pleasure doing business with you. Looks like I'm causing you trouble. It comes with the job. Don't sweat it. Some sailors just have longer tempers than others. <laughs> Noted. Kann ich hier eigentlich irgendwas abgeben? Alter, was ist das? Zerfleischender Stern. Hat die wirklich Sterne da unten oder soll das was verdecken? Schwere Schwierigkeiten oder hören? Um einen so einen Seelenbrecher Seelen einzubehalten. Finalen Schaden verringert. Für jeden weiteren Treffer werden als mystischen Artes, weil ein Teil des verbrauchten mystischen Artes erstattet. Oh, der wäre eigentlich cool gewesen. Das ist die Frage, ob man die sich nicht nach und nach dann doch irgendwann wiederholt.